is going on YouTube fam Puff and Pete coming at you with another one um, I know things have been a little slow lately but uh, it's just been a whole thing I got a lot going on um, I haven't had a lot of new stuff to review I'm setting up the new recording area obviously we're in my living room right now um, but I wanted to do a little bit of a quick video tonight um, it's not gonna be complete there's gonna be no, numerous sections to this so as you're seeing this it's gonna be an over the course of days basically um, I got a package from a very uh, nice company uh, generous people they decided they wanted to send me a device to review to check out rosin press New York yes I wrote that on there I know cheesy at rosin press underscore n y r o s i n p r e s s underscore n y these folks Really nice people. I've spoken with them a little bit on Instagram. Uh, been, you know, checking out their products, checking out their page. Um, sent me this package. It arrived tonight. Uh, pretty excited about it. I don't have a portable device. Um, I do have the Dr. Dabber Switch, but it's bigger. Um, it is technically portable, but it's just it's big. Um, I saw that they have this thing. They have this thing, and. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this is, I would say, a very good option for somebody who needs a portable e-rig on a budget. Um, and that's not to say there's anything messing, you know, because I don't know. I have this is my first look at it. Um, I know other people have gotten them and have reviewed them. I have not looked at anybody's reviews, haven't read anybody's comments. Um, I just haven't. I don't want to be biased in any way. So you are seeing this, my reaction as I'm seeing it for the first time. I mean, granted, I've seen pictures. I know what you know the general idea is. So that's kind of why I'm saying things I'm saying as far as what it is. But okay. So first off, we open up the box. We got the bubble wrap and the yellow package envelope here. Okay. All right. There is our envelope. Now I've got my handy dandy stabby pokey stick. So anyway, I said, like I said, I've seen it, um, but not in person. I haven't actually had my hands on it yet. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how this goes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Folks, what we have here is the paw. The paw. I'm going to turn my light on here. Oh, there we go. The paw. Now this, personal advanced water pipe. Personal advanced water pipe. Paw next sesh okay let's read what it says here born with love haptic feedback four preset temps lightning warm-up led light indicator it has control base quartz insert a ceramic insert a loading tool user manual cotton swabs an atomizer a glass chamber carb cap and tether and a micro usb cable it says effortless just got easier your PAW system delivers a fully controllable experience combined with an ultra-smooth flavor. Be the flow at your next sesh. I like that. So, it has the links for uh, next sesh on Instagram, which I'll be honest, I, I don't think I'm at the next sesh on Instagram. I will fix that after this video before I go to bed tonight. Um, I go through at Ros and Preston New York's how I found this. So. First off, guys, thank you so much for sending me this. Um, again, this was sent to me for free to test and try out. Um, they are not paying me anything for my feedback. I am completely honest. Let me tell you guys. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. I will. Period. That's that's what it is. And I told the guys, look, I'm going to be honest. So I, they were totally cool with that, and they sent this out to me. And I, I didn't expect it to come so quick. Or just a couple of days, and here it was. I came in tonight sitting here so I don't know if this has some battery we'll use it uh, uh, tonight on this uh, and then again tomorrow I'll get really into it but um, I wanted to at least unbox it tonight and get into it and then maybe and then charge it up for tomorrow so 
and it looks like I'm, I'm thinking now I'm not opening this yet until I finish what I'm saying so there's different colors here around the edge and I if I'm not mistaken the base has different colors I see green blue orange and red and I think there's a black I don't know um, but then I see on the top here there's a green sticker green sticker so I don't know I suspect that maybe I got the green one and I kind of hope I did I, I, I I'm happy regardless of what color I got guys but if you guys surprise me with a green one I'm gonna freak because green's my favorite color so let's open her up together guys I'm looking at it at the same time. You guys, I think the manual is going to fall out, so we'll just do that. Yep, there goes the manual. <gasps> and it's the green! It's the green! <laughs> you guys are fucking awesome. That is cool. All right, this is totally tits, guys. This is, <laughs> this is what's up. Okay, so my first thought and impressions is this is basically their version of the Puffco Peak or the Focus V card. I don't know if it has the flower mode. I have to look, but... At the very least, it's like the Puffco Peak. So it is a portable e-rig, which is outstanding. I've been needing something like this. Now, um, before we start tearing into this, the price point for this. Um, the price point, I'm pretty positive, is $169. $169, folks. So if this works half as good as either of the devices that I've mentioned, then you got a winner here. If you need something that's going to work with your budget, I think we might have a winner here. I'm going to have to get up and get some water here, obviously, but I want to crack this open. Okay, so there's something uh, rattling around in there. Let's open up the box and see. No whammy, no whammies, guys. Let's hope nothing busted. Okay, okay, so this is cool. Uh, there's these Q-tips in here, these swabs. And it looks like they might have like ISO or something, some kind of cleaning solution inside the stem. Not sure. It's interesting. I'll have to check that out. Now, speaking of the paw, I've got a curious little paw over here. Little Miss Chloe's over here investigating the box. So this is called the paw, and we're going to give it a paw rating when we're done. <laughs> the flukes have to give it a paw rating. Mwah. Love you, Chloe. Okay. So what we have here first off is the carb cap and tether, which is awesome. I'm glad to have that because uh, I'd lose it if I didn't have a tether. And I get bummed out if I don't have a carb cap, and that's a small cap. So I don't want to lose it. It does kind of feel delicate at first because of its size, but um, it's really not. It's good quality glass, I think. It's... Uh, a little bit of fuzzy on there. Okay, so okay, so you know they could uh, maybe polish that a little bit. It's a little rough there at the cut, but not a big deal. Not a huge deal. Will not affect it whatsoever. I am happy as hell. Oh, cool. Got a couple of alcohol pads. Not too shabby, folks. Little uh, little details like that are always nice. Um, okay, so we've got the carb cap. We got the loading tool. That's a neat little loading tool. I kind of like that. It's more of a like, a like a flathead screwdriver. And then it's got like a weighted almost base to it. Nice. That is a nice tool. Now this must be the quartz dish. This must be the quartz dish. Now I did not see the ceramic dish. I do not see the ceramic dish offhand. So I'm going to assume it's in the base, but I'm going to pull it out and find out here. Let's, uh, and I like that this box has the foam cut out for it, so you can store it. Ah, okay, yeah. The ceramic dish is inside the atomizer. Uh, okay, that shouldn't affect anything. Nice. So the weight on this really isn't bad. I think maybe it's slightly heavier than a Puffco Peak. Maybe. Um, I'd have to feel it all with the water in it. But uh, to be honest, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, yeah. So the, the grind is a little... Yeah, and see, then there's a spot there that wasn't quite ground. A little... I don't know if you can pick that up. 
I'm nitpicking. I know it's what I do. It's just I, I'm a I'm a stickler for details. But um, I can tell you right now, it looks like it's got a pretty good air path. It's got a pretty sizable air path in there. I don't know how well you can see it with the light. Probably not at all. But it's really wide air path. And then the hole for the air path leading into, yeah, you can see that at least. That's a good size hole for the air leading into it. Um, I like how the whole inside base of this is silicone and not hard plastic. Uh, makes it easier to clean up in my opinion and you get a better seat, better seal. Um, let me see how this, uh, I don't want to break anything. Being like a, you know, getting rough. Oh, this really fits in there tight. That's not a bad thing, folks. I, I don't want something that's going to just you knock it and it, you know, comes apart. That is really sturdy. You know, like a, I mean, that's a tight connection. I, I was careful trying to push it down in. And I'm not, that's not a complaint. That's not a criticism. That's just heads up. That doesn't just boop. You know, it's not a quick pop in. This is, that's got a, that's got a seal. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's got a good seal. Oh, wow. So, and of course, like I said, the box has got the two layers of foam. And this is like more of a heavier foam, almost like those, um, like a hep, like kind of like the material those uh, stadium seats, uh, those stadium cushions are made of. Only not as easy to compress. Uh, very well, and it's perfectly cut out. So that, that's really nice. I do like that. Um, the box, you know, does have the magnetic. So that's cool. It's a nice box to hang on to. Let me look at the instructions here. Personal advanced water pipe. Be the flow. Hi, thanks for choosing the next sesh paw. This manual is quick and easy, so let's get started. In order for operation to be smooth and safe, please read all instructions in this manual. Now, normally I don't do manuals, but I'm doing this for you guys. Failure to follow instructions may result in damage or injury and may void your warranty. And, and like I said, normally I just pick it up and start messing with it, trying to figure out it on my own. Okay, let me, let me double check this and make sure I'm reading all this right, because I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. So there's the ceramic dish. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Carb cap, atomizer cover, ceramic, and the atomizer's underneath. Okay, so then there's the atomizer. There's the ceramic dish that was inside of it. And then the cover screws on. It's got a silicone ring around it. It's actually pretty thick, which I think will be nice with the heat. Um, so, and it looks, yeah, yeah. And I can see right through the air path when you pull out the atomizer. This is going to be easy to clean, folks. I don't know about the atomizer. I've never messed with atomizers. Um, like I said, I didn't have a Puffco Peak. I've used... Uh, I used PA Cushies, uh, you know, PA Cushy Carlock, and PA Gurney. I've used their Puffco Peaks. And um, I think they're good devices. My only complaint is they feel dainty, and I feel like I'm going to break them. But uh, no, these are really cool. So use included limiting tool to place materials in the bottom surface of the insert, not the side. Okay, I get that. Oh, this is one of those five touch on and off. Fill the glass attachment through the top, water attach the base. Make sure the holes line up with the atomizer. Do not overfill. Okay. Blue is low temperature, 500. Green is medium at 550. Orange is high at 600. And red is extra L, extra large, XL. I'm sure that means, you know, that's 650. So it looks like the top temp is 650. That's more than I'll ever need. Um, says before your first use, please use the micro charging cable and charge it fully. Uh, turn on the unit. 
quick refresh time on it. Okay. It'll, it will keep your last temp setting. So it does have the memory. It will remember what you used and keep, so you don't have to reset it every time. And it's three clicks to switch between the settings. Five clicks on and off, three to clicks to cycle the heat settings. So this is very simple, folks. Um, the unit will vibrate and has a solid light when it's ready to use. Uh, and it's a two second hold to start the si heating cycle. Uh, 25 seconds average for heat up. So that's a bit long, but I mean, I, you really can't complain for something like this and especially for the price point. And then of course it says use the cotton swab after each uh, use. Vibration and blinking light indicates that the heat up mode is active. So that's what I'm going to do tonight folks. I'm going to leave that there. Um, and then tomorrow after I've had it fully charged we'll come back to this and I will have a full on, you know, we'll do a full review. I'll have the phone charged. I'll have the camera charged and I'll have new lights, new batteries and the light because right now it's flashing, you know, it's getting brightening and dimming, losing the battery there. So we'll finish this tomorrow. Thank you for coming in and uh, stay tuned for part two.
What is going on, YouTube fam? Puff and Pete coming at you with part two of the paw review. That's right, guys. Part two. Uh, full disclosure, uh, I got a little delayed doing this part two. There's the sticker by Rosin Press New York. That's actually a pretty good size slap, guys. I normally don't like big slaps like this, but this one's pretty badass. I'm pretty excited about that. So, as I said, guys, I, uh, I've been a little delayed with part two. Um, full disclosure, uh, I ripped it for you guys on part one. You guys saw that. I went to bed. The next day, I took this little guy to work. Um, those of you who are on my Instagram, you saw the little video of me taking this and taking some rips at work. Now, last night, I was getting ready to uh, do part two. And I was cleaning out the crystal dish. Full disclosure, I broke the crystal insert dish. I was I chazzed it and I was trying to clean it really good and I pushed too hard and I poked right through the bottom of it, broke it. That's it's not their fault. Okay, yes, they are a little flimsy, but they're small. You can't really do anything much about that. They're quartz, they're small. Not their fault. That was on me being too fucking rough with it. Anyway. Not a big deal, part two, here we are. We're gonna try out the quartz dish. So it really works out better because you get a fuller review. You have to excuse the echo, we're in my new studio right now. This is the first video in the studio. I don't have much in here right now, so it's gonna echo a little bit. I don't know how the microphone is gonna do. So if there's a little bit of an echo, I apologize. We're gonna go in on this Hash Haze Shatter by Terrapin. The paw is fully charged. Um, I haven't had to clean the paw out really, um, other than the the uh, dish, which again I chased it, I screwed it up. That was on me. But uh, I've ripped about a full gram through this thing, guys, and um, I'm impressed for the price point. It's pretty crazy good. Um, I'm just gonna do a little one to start because I haven't used this quartz dish. And uh, I got turf wipes, I got glob mops. Shout out to the folks at turf wipes. Absolutely love my turf wipes. I use them on everything. I clean silicone mats. I clean my extraction plates. Uh, I use it on my glass. I use it on my quartz. I use it on my ceramic um, bangers. Uh, yeah, I use, it, I use it on my cell phone. I clean my cell phone screen. Um, use it for a little bit of everything. So, shout out to Turf Wipes. No, they aren't sponsoring me or anything. I just, I see a product I believe in and I enjoy, and I'm going to support them. So, plus with the ISO being in short supply, it's nice to have something to clean with that you can get pretty easily and fairly cheap. Okay, we're going to hold this down for two seconds. It takes about 25 seconds to heat, so it's a little long, but... it's heating now it'll do the vibrate and light as soon as it's done just like the peak does um, yeah kind of excited oh uh, yeah I can smell the shatter already a little vapor already should be just about up to temperature guys There we go. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, I went right with the quartz dish off the bat just because in my experience I get a better flavor and a better dab out of quartz as opposed to ceramic. But that's got a damn good flavor for a ceramic. Um, wow. 
impressive. It's also not as porous as most ceramics. Most of them are so porous that when you try to uh, use a Q-tip in them, you leave fuzz and lint behind, and that I, aggravates the shit out of me because then you have to spend time picking it all off, making sure it's all off. There's you're not inhaling that. So uh, this is not like that. The, it's a much smoother cot, uh, yeah, cotton, much smoother uh, ceramic. So that's very nice. Uh, I do appreciate that. Oh, just make sure. Oh, I see what it is. It's telling me it lost my tracking. There we go. All right, so we're gonna load another one in here, guys. So my first thoughts on this originally, um, other than the fact that it looked cool um, and that it hit nice, was that it did take a little long to heat up. Uh, it doesn't take forever to charge. It does uh, charge well. Uh, you get a few good, you get quite a few good rips for it with a charge. Um, it's not one of these, you know, everyday, all day device. It does get warm after a few dabs in a row. Like, it's already warm after the first one. It'll be a little warm by, number, by the number two here. But not so warm I can't touch it or anything. It's just, it's warm. You'll feel it. It's just the way it is. But for a portable on the go device, um, this is going to be awesome. I love this. This is. And especially if you don't want to or cannot spend the money to get a peak, you know what I mean? Uh, saves you a hundred bucks and you can still get the same type of device. Definitely worth the price point that they're asking. Like 170 I believe. Pretty sure. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Wow. This thing's a little heater, man. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to go in on it with a turp wipe this time, because I did the chassis just a little bit that time. It was a bit of a bigger uh, dab, too. definitely like this device guys um, I'll be honest I would be I would have been skeptical um, just as a consumer buying anything that's not the you know the big popular brand or you know because sometimes you know you are taking a risk but uh, I'll be honest I did some looking um, atomizers are cheap I think they're like 30 bucks um, you get the dishes, the quartz and the ceramic dishes. I think they're three for $30. So um, not a bad deal. They do come with one of each when you buy them, or at least this one did. I'm not sure if they all do or if it's just this particular model. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they all do. Makes sense. But... <clears throat> Turp wipes, guys. Oh, yeah. Get all that nastiness out of there. Turp wipes for the win. Mm. They don't really need it, but just for you guys and to be fully honest and open about how hard I'm hitting this and reviewing it, we're going to finish off the rest of this gram. <coughs> it's going to be about two more good dabs, so... <clears throat> oh yeah, that's going to happen. 
did want to say thank you all for the support. Uh, most of the hoodies are sold. I think I'm down to like seven left, uh, maybe less. But uh, that's awesome, so I'll definitely have to order more. I didn't think they'd sell out so fast. Um, to be honest, that's uh, just mind-blowing and humbling, guys. Mind-blowing and humbling. Um, yeah. So I've been uh, doing some cleaning while I'm doing this, getting ready to do this tonight. I wanted to get this room set up and get the carpet installed before doing this video. So... Uh, it's it's really I wanted to do this the right way part one was cool and it was mainly because I couldn't sleep without opening it up and trying it out I was like a kid on Christmas so part one that's what that's all about part two is you know my thoughts after a couple of days use letting you know that I screwed up I broke the uh, quartz chamber it's because the quartz buckets are delicate but you know uh, and I'm a little rough on stuff All right, so we're gonna heat that back up. We're gonna go in for another derbsky. See, it's still a little warm, but like I said, I can hold on to it, no big deal. I don't know if, yep, you can see the vapor, I can see the vapor. Do, 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 do. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so good <laughs> so smooth <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah I'm gonna sleep like a champ tonight <clears throat> and we're christening the office the studio <clears throat> and baking the shit out of it <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Part of that is testing my space my electric space heater looks like a fireplace because this room has no heat this really was an unused sun porch on our house that uh, sat unused for eight years with busted out windows no carpet no heat no insulation of any kind so this is a interesting endeavor. It's been a month or two in the making, working on the weekends with I have spare time or the money for supplies. <coughs> oh, 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 excuse me. <coughs> lungs tonight. Mm. Oh, the hash haze has got me good. To be fair, it's probably the flour I baked earlier. It's got me a little raw. But, uh, yeah, I really am enjoying this new setup. I've got a lot more room. Uh, using a busted kitchen chair at the moment because I haven't brought my uh, office chair down <laughs> and um, waiting on a new one. So anyway, Guys, the paw, you got to check it out. P A W, personal advanced water pipe. Uh, with the cats, as far as the cats are concerned, the floofs, you get a 10 paws up. Four for each cat and two for me. You guys get a 10 out of 10 paws. That's, that's pretty awesome. This is a device I, I kind of I wanted to go in on it a little hating on it. I wanted to be a little skeptical. I refuse to watch anybody's videos until I've done my own research, my own trials on it. This thing's cool, guys. And you can't beat the price. 
169, 179, somewhere in there. Uh, Rosin Press NY, Rosin Press New York. Check them out on Instagram. Also check out Next Sesh Vaporizer. Next Sesh. Um, yeah. These guys got killer, killer setup with that. Um, they've also got some good presses too. At least I'm, that's what I'm told. I'll have to check them out for that. But uh, that's, that's what I hear. I hear good things. So we shall see, guys. Um, and thank you guys for sending this to me. I'm humbled that you would give me this opportunity. And it's such a cool device. And the fact that it came in my favorite color, which I never told anybody. It just showed up that way. Luck of the draw. So I'm stoked. We're going to take one last dab. This definitely is Puffin approved. Plain and simple. Um, I'm actually not mad that I busted, uh, well, I am mad that I busted the chamber, the quartz dish, but I'm not mad that I'm going to buy a three pack because then I'll have a couple. Um, in fact, I'm going to buy the three pack of quartz and the three pack of ceramic. That way I've got a stockpile for a while and then a spare atomizer just because you never know. I've never messed with atomizers before, so I don't know how long they last. This is new to me. Um... But this is definitely going to be my little go-to travel dude. Um, my Hemper Tech plugs fit right perfectly in the top of that. No problem. So if I want, I can leave the water in if I have to. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Shout out, guys. Check them out. Again, I don't get anything for this. I'm not, I'm not getting, like, a, a, a discount from them every time or... I'm not getting a kickback if you guys go buy something. This is it. I got I got a free piece to try out to show you guys. So and and I'm so grateful. That's so awesome. Uh, <laughs> so they sponsored this video. That's the way this works. They they, they sponsored this video. I, I appreciate you guys. Man. And my review, 100% honest. If it's garbage, I'm gonna tell you. Rather it's free or not. And I'll be, I'll be, I'll be on the fucking reel. I'd pay for it. I, I wouldn't have thought so, just because I'm like, oh, it's a knockoff. No, guys, this is worth it, and it's gonna save you a hundred bucks. So if you can't afford something like the Peak, but you really want one, there's your go-to. All right, let's get this last dab in there. Oh, let it heat up. Let there be heat. Let there be heat. Let there be terps. That's gonna be my uh, that's gonna be my Thanksgiving motto. Let there be terps. Uh, got one last piece. Of, well, two last pieces of glass to clean. Uh, but not tonight. It's after midnight. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna finish this video. I'll up upload it tomorrow. I know it's two days late, but it's better this way. We'll go, we'll go all Mandalorian. This is the way. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. One last function shot for you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Appreciate you for tuning in. Appreciate all your support. Thank you all for watching. If you're not a subscriber and it's your first time here, welcome. Like, comment, share. Hit that little bell if you want to see the notifications. There will be more giveaways coming in the future, especially when we hit a thousand. There will be a huge giveaway. Two winners. <coughs> and it's growing. As, as we get more and more, people keep adding to the giveaway, so that's kind of cool. <coughs> oh, I am destroyed, guys. I'm going to go veg out, watch a couple of YouTube videos. I'm going to go pass the fuck out. You beautiful people have a wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in to all my fuckery and shenanigans. And, uh, guys, check out the paw.
check out Rosin Press New York. Guys, thank you for sponsoring this video and for uh, giving me a chance to check out your device. Stay lit, stay kind, be well, and as always, please keep on buying.